What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I'm back with another video, so today we're going to be breaking down how Rodney Hood fits with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So before I start, if you want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So Rodney Hood was traded to the Cavs yesterday in a three-team trade between Cleveland, Sacramento, and Utah. The Jazz received Jay Crowder and Derrick Rose, the Kings received Joe Johnson, Iman Shumpert, and the Heat's 2020 second round pick. And the Cavs got Rodney Hood and George Hill. I already did breakdowns on how George Hill, Jordan Clarkson, and Larry Nance Jr. fit with the Cavs, so be sure to check those videos out. I'll have a link to them down in the description below. With that being said, let's break down how Rodney Hood will fit with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So Hood is a swing man who can play both the shooting guard and small forward positions for the Cavs at 6'8 with good length. He could guard both positions with ease and shouldn't have trouble switching on to power forwards at times as well. Hood is also a great shooter with a 38.9 three-point percentage on 6.7 attempts per game this season, and he's going to be a great fit in Cavs offense, spreading the floor with his shooting while also having the ability to score at the rim at times as well. He's having a career year, averaging 16.8 points per game, and I think that number should stay about the same in Cleveland as while Hood may not average 14.2 shots per game like he is currently this season, he will get better and more open looks playing next to LeBron James and other great shooters, such as Kyle Korver, who will command a lot of defensive attention away from him. The Cavs will definitely love the spacing and shooting he brings to their offense, as that will not just lead to more easy threes, but it will also open up driving lanes for guys like George Hill and LeBron James. Defensively, Hood hasn't been a great defender this season with a defensive rating of 110 and a DBPM of negative 2.6. However, he has all the tools to become a good defender as he is 6'8 with long arms, but he definitely needs to be more focused on defense and make sure he stays in front of his guy to contest a shot, as when I watch him, he would sometimes get beaten off the dribble and lose the opposing player he was guarding. If Hood can use his physical tools to become a solid defender for the Cavs, that would definitely be really helpful for them throughout the rest of the season and in the playoffs as well. I think overall Rodney Hood should be a great fit in Cleveland. I think he'll likely start at the small forward position with LeBron James moving to power forward and Tristan Thompson being the starting center with Kevin Love out. Hood is a young guy with a good amount of potential and I definitely think if he plays well in Cleveland, the Cavs may want to resign him and he can be their potential shooting guard of the future. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as I do post daily. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also, as I said before, be sure to check out my breakdowns on how George Hill, Jordan Clarkson, and Larry Nance Jr. fit with the Cavs. I'll have a link to those videos down in the description below. And also be sure to drop a comment down below on your thoughts on how you think Rodney Hood will fit with the Cavs. Do you like the acquisition? Let me know and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.